Good evening. Nice to see you guys again. All right. Last week we talk about getting chi from dark energy and dark matters. Right? So we got a lot of email people say, you know, how can I get the chi from dark energy and the dark matters? So the simple way I can say that this way, you know, dark energy and the dark matter, so we just give it a name, right? Generally speaking, it's one of the category at the invisible. So at invisible field, the entire invisible field contained everything, wisdom, life source, everything called the invisible in this category. Since when we talk about the woman's health, we must understand women belong to the category at the invisible category, right? In the Chinese they say yin and yang, positive and negative, right? So then the women associated or connected or belong to the, the category at the invisible and the dark energy, dark matters and belong to this category. So therefore, give the power of the almost because you are belong to this category, almost like you have a VIP path. And the special VIP path allow you easier connect to this because you are in this category, right? So because the life source, right? At the first class, we talk about it. And the, the most important things and the unit of the woman is can create energy, can create the life, right? Life is energy. Energy has a consciousness and consciousness is a purpose. So therefore, in order to connect to this resource can create the life, then women belong to the category of the dark energy, dark matters, right? Belong to the category of the, this invisible, then we talk about the invisible, always bigger than the visible. Once you understand this, then we have to say, when we talk about, right, when we discuss, when we want to deal women's health, what do we deal? We deal the illness and the disease, right? Generally speaking, we are dealing illness and the disease. Not many people real start to say, how can I create a greater life, right? That's the next step. That's until you will discover, wow, there are different ways to deal the health. Most likely, we are deal the illness and the disease. Then the illness and the disease is visible, right? Then behind this visible is what? It's invisible. So that's the entire whole purpose that allow us to see what is behind the illness and the disease. If we want to deal the health, if we want to use the energy, we use the chi to deal, to heal, to go beyond the illness and the disease, then we must understand visible, invisible. Right. So then we say, you homework, please deal the homework. You must do the homework. This class is not just like a lecture you can listen. This class sessions is for someone who are looking for different ways to discover the life, these different ways to deal the woman's health, right? So it's not just women, right? The guys, hey, if you're a guy, listen to this. This series, I would say you are the smart guys, right? You are very smart. You understand, right? That way, so therefore, you don't have to go watch the movie, What's the Woman Want? Right? And then you just listen to this, you understand, because they are special. So you have to know the special is energy. This chi make it that special. The category is invisible. You must always see something invisible, not just a visible way. That's always invisible. And then today we are continue follow this concept and go to the one more levels because because in the woman's entire life, 
they are belong to this category. They can create life. Now, in order to create a life, they must receive or relate and connect to the life source. When they connect to the life source, then what do you do? You must use the qi transformation. Use the qi to do many things, right? Now we see that in this body, in women's body, in this life and the women's body, they have one very unique the gift, very unique system at the inside, allow the body to transform the qi. So what is qi? Now go back to the, what is qi? Everything's qi, right? So we say everything's qi. Then definitely, generally speaking, qi is the four category, I would say. I said one more time, qi has a four category. It's not just energy, right? So the qigong is not just energy practice. Yes, that's the beginning level. Right, qi is energy, that's true. Right, that's normally we see, it's the power what we see. What do you do? This power, this energy, you can use to transport the heat, cold, right, moving things, you know, send airplane out of the space, and the fly, dry, all of this is based on the energy and the power. But the second category of the qi is information, right? What is the information behind this qi? So you see qi, all right, season has qi. What is the information? Spring information and the summer information and the winter information has a totally different kind of information, right? It's information, who are you, right? It's information. You have a social security number, you have your blood type, you have a many different information behind. That's called the information. Right? And then the chi has a next level, which is the third dimension, is a consciousness. Right? It's the consciousness, it's the invisible consciousness behind this chi. It's the wisdom, it's the consciousness. Right? This consciousness and the wisdom and make the chi so unique and so beyond which is so difficult to understand until today. Still not easy to understand. You know, when we practice Qigong later, I will wish everyone can discover this level to understand the consciousness. Consciousness is not just, oh, my mind thinking that's the kind. No, that's the mental processing, right? It's not a consciousness. You know, consciousness is not just an entity. Consciousness is far beyond. It's like a software. It's like a something. It's something behind. It's difficult to explain, right? Then the last one, where we talk about the chi, is universal life. It's the universal life. What does that mean? That means when you say, I have a chi, that means you have a universal life inside of you. So when you practice qigong, what do you practice? You practice universal life running through your body. So therefore what? Your body become the image, become the signs of the universal life. Can you think this way? See, there's a four levels of the chi. And it really depends on which level you want to accomplish, right? And then therefore, that means a real different Qigong system is accomplished at the different levels of the Qi. Now, I hope you right, people will understand. It's the same way if you say, oh, I would like to study the computer science. So where are you going to go? You go to the community college and you go to the MIT. It will be totally different outcome, right? It because a different school focus on the different things, right? It's the same way and the Qigong class and the Qigong school, Qigong system depend how do you understand the Qigong and how do you want to accomplish and which level you want to do. And then since Qi can do so many different levels, so many different areas, now apply this concept in a woman's health. So what does that mean? That means in a woman's body has one unique chi. They be able to transform, transform the food, or transform the chi into the different levels, the different materialized things. 
For example, now we see the example. So if a woman meet the requirement, get a pregnancy, then they deliver the baby. So what's happening? Generally speaking, their body can produce the milk, right? Now think of this way. So you eat the same thing, you come out a different milk, you will come out the milk. So that means your body able to transform the chi, transform the materialize, become the other kind of materialize, can fit for life. Now listen to me this carefully. It means you are capable to transform the one kind of materialize and also non-materialize. There's two levels or two categories. One is the materialize, which is the food. Right? Transform the food to the milk. Then also can non-materialize. What is called non-materialize? Music, emotions, pictures, right? So you also can use that non-materialize four moons, all of these non-materialized things and transformed, transformed into the milk, can feed life. So that's why in the clinic we often see this, right? When a woman's at the situation, emotions are the balance and suddenly husband get, a, they are divorced, suddenly someone died, they hurt, sad, and the milk stop. How come? How the emotions can impact to the body immediately you stop the milk, produce the milk. So one way you can say you produce the milk and the other way you say transformation. The system shut down. The system shut down. Right? So that is the one kind of gift can be able to transform the chi. That's in the other levels. Menstrual cycle is also is in the other levels, in the other angles to understand women's body. They can transform the chi, become the blood visible, become in, invisible, and the visible become the invisible. Right, that menstrual cycle every month, the body produced blood, but that blood is come from visible and the invisible. Right. So all the women understand your emotions change, your menstrual cycle change, your blood change, right? Your entire cycle change. So the whole, whole cycle associated with invisible things. So that's why in the Chinese medicine, what they call, they call the moon cycle. Generally speaking, women's menstrual cycle associated with the moon. Because what? It's a category, right? The blood associated with the water. Entire earth, 70% is the water. Every time full moon come, make the water change, then make the body change. Now you see, this is called the echo category. Still go back to the last class, visible, invisible, right? So the entire, these are two categories, two areas, what we say, is one of the unique, the gift in woman's body. To understand if we want to deal, we want to treat women's health, and we must understand in these two categories. So which means we can use these two categories to diagnose or to understand which level of your chi or which level of your body health, health level, all right, so think of this. The menstrual cycle, first, generally speaking. Generally speaking, so menstrual once a month, you come, perfect time. If you don't have any kind of issues, perfect time. No pain, no PMS, no emotional change. You don't have to do that. The whole cycle is perfect because what? You meet the requirement. Once this cycle done, your body meet the requirement, waiting for the opportunity. You meet the requirement, something come, right? Otherwise, you move on to the next side, next cycle. In the other way, if it per proceed, if it's successful, then the body transforms a different level. So which means the body has to allow the other system function. 
Nervous system has to be prepared to understand. Now you digest the food. Any kind of food, you should be able to transform the milk, transform the quality, quality, materialize the things, gain nurture for the next life. Right? You have to understand this concept. Right? So entire this greater concept, now what do you see? You see the body be able to do this. Then generally speaking, based on this, if, if women can use this gift, use this wisdom, transform the, to the area, lose weight, you have no problem. Every woman should be able to process in any kind of body fat and turn it to the different thing because it's transformation of the chi, transformation to the material to the chi, E equal to MC squared. That's modern science, and performed at the woman's body, right? Menstrual cycle is the chi energy equal to mc square. It's the same thing. So entire body create this gift. So this gift will allow you connect to the what? Connect to the life, right? So all we talk about here, three class now. I try to lay down that this concept is a gift, unique. All of this area, being a man cannot do that. I can do that, cannot do that, right? You can. We eat the same food, I cannot produce the milk, and someone will, right? You meet, you see the woman and the mother meet the requirement, they can produce the milk. See so how grateful and that body can transform something for life or purpose. Now, can you apply this concept in the life, in the different areas? That's what we need to see. So that's why we see, how do we see? We use the last class concept, visible, invisible. Everything happened for a reason. All the reason behind it is what? It's a consciousness because the reason still is energy, right? Everything happened for a reason because everything happens even is Actions, events, good or bad, but no matter what, it's the energy events. So therefore, behind the energy is a consciousness, and the consciousness has a purpose. This always has a purpose behind this. So therefore, how to connect, right? Think this way. So we're always thinking, all right, for connection. So what is the best way we can connect to the resource? We can connect to the chi. We can connect to the, this genetic wisdom, right? It's wisdom, right? You're born with this. No one can take it away. Just only difference, do you use it or not use it? So that's why you see some women say, oh, this life, I don't want that. Being a mother, I don't want to have a child. That's okay. Because it, the gift is still give it to you. You see the beauty of the, this, beauty of the life and the beauty of the universe? Unconditional love. The universe doesn't say, hey, this life, you don't want to be the mother. Let me take a gift back to you. Not that way. Whatever give it to you is a gift to you. It's unconditional. So the only difference is how do you going to use this transformation? How are you going to use this creativity in your life? You can create a project. You can create your own life as long as your life meets the requirement of the universal life. As long as your life becomes the image of the universal love. Thinking this way. Then you just transform the gift to the different areas, right? Today, we're going to learn how to connect the power, right? So before we do this, you think this one way. You know, in the modern science, we always say space and the time cannot be separated, right? How many people heard this? Has a space and the time. We always want to find a way to connect. Right? Which way you can connect to your genetic? By space, right? Which is mean by materialize, right? Space is materialized. So what 
which part of your body has more easier connections by space? Materialize. Where? Navels, right? Your belly button. Think of this. Why right? guys have a belly button, women has a belly button, but the women's belly button more directly connect to the where? Connect to the womb, right? The resource of the life. So that means this gate never close, even though look like a close, never close, right? So therefore, in the Chinese, in the Taoist practice, they call they don't call building button, they call the spear gate. The spear gate, that gate connect to the spear. The gate allow the building button. Every time you think you are building button, automatically you connect to the space. Connect to who? Connect to your mothers, right? Then your mothers. Build the button, connect to who? Connect to your grandmothers. And then suddenly, entire bloodlines behind you. You see how powerful is that build the button is? Space and the time cannot be separate. That's another religion to say now. Now you just, if you guys love the, you know, quantum physics and modern science, hey, at least the modern science, you know, Einstein really proved to you space and the time cannot be separate. Now, only difference, we use the breathing. We use this special Qigong practice. That is one of the special Qigong practices allow you connect to your spirit. So how to do that? All you need is just focus on your navel. When you breathe in, you try to suck it in. If you can do that, try to bite. When you breathe in, suck in your stomach. When you breathe out, push out a little bit. It's a little bit of river, you know, reverse breathing, someone say that, right? So you breathe in, suck in. Breathe out, push out. Very good. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now we do that again. Breathe in. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Out. Breathe in. Hold. Two. Three, four, five, out. One more time. Breathe in, hold, two, three, four, five, out. Very good. All right. This the most simple breathing technique, but also is the most powerful Qigong practice. And sometimes can help you save your life. And most of the time, if you want to use your genetic power, you know, particularly like now, you know, everyone try to fight the covers, use your immune system, use your genetic wisdom, that is one of the, the most simple Qigong breathings. You can practice anytime, anywhere, right? So if you, for example, you say, I'm anxiety, so what do you do? Close your eyes, do the, this breathing. You know, a couple of times you feel strength, you feel energy, why? Suddenly all the spirits are behind you, invisible, visible, Invisible, right? Remember last class, we just said that through this uh, neighbor as a visible, connect to the behind the invisible. Through this chi and what you connect, connect to the life source. Simple movement. All the chicken practice is simple. No, particularly it's not, you know, from what I learned, Gotta be simple. My master always tell me, simple, don't make it too complicated. But some people love a complicated way, so that's okay. But if you want a simple way, 
That's the simple way, the easy, simple way. I highly recommend everybody, everybody, please practice, you know, connect to your genetic, connect to your bloodlines, and find the wisdom, so what do you have, right? To transform the chi, right? That chi is the universal chi, it's the life chi, it's your bloodlines chi. This is a simple exercise will allow you discover, discover the wisdom behind your genetic wisdom, right? People always think, you know, as of today, we always focus on the genetic disease, illness, instead of we focus on the, the beauty and the power and the wisdom in the genetics. So this is the technique that can help you discover your power. And you can use this technique for many different kinds of crazy, whatever you call the illness and the disease. More difficult to name that and more easier to use because space and the time. Everything happens simultaneously. All right, so I think then today will be pretty good in this concept. We say that this started with this class. I'm going to open up for a little bit of question. I know a lot of people waiting for some questions. If you cannot answer that, you can type it in. We will do the question. If you're not in the next class, we are going to continue for, you know, some discussed name. We will have a, uh, you guys can type it in, then we can do, I do my best to give you answers. Okay, hey, good evening everybody. We have some questions here that I'll read to Master Lu. Um, Master Lu, first of all, in Chinese medicine, it's often referred to qi stagnation and blood stagnation. Can you explain how Qigong addresses these conditions? All right. Qi stand in Chinese medicine, they love it. It's called a fancy vocabulary. I love it. You know, that's Chinese culture. They always make something fancy, yin and yang, visible, invisible, right? Last week we learned visible, invisible. The qi belong to invisible, blood belong to the visible, right? So you can have a blood stagnation and also you can have a qi, invisible stagnation. So what is in the qi area? Emotions is Qi, right? Emotions is Qi, right? So you think about that, your emotions change. Does your face get red, right? Does do you get a sweat? You bite your teeth, right? Emotions can change, right? Then blood stagnation can be, you know, almost like a, what's it called a blood stagnation. I do the blood stagnation first. Blood stagnation can be, generally speaking, sport injury, right? Sport injury, what do you see in your body, right? Booze. Right, the colors, you see that someone hit you, all oh, turn into the booze, your legs swelling up. That's most likely is a visible tumor can be blood stagnation, right? But also behind, there's always a chi. Generally speaking, blood and the chi cannot be separated, right? We say there's always a both side, even though there's a blood stagnation behind, still is the chi stagnation. So therefore, when you look at your body, when you look at any kind of pain, any kind of cancer, any kind of illness, generally speaking, they are all can belong to the category called the stagnation. All right? Something doesn't move. So something doesn't move can be your chi doesn't move, which means your mentally, emotionally, doesn't move, right? Think about that. You go to therapies, how many years? 20 years. What's a therapist gonna do? Try to move your chi stagnation, your emotions stagnation, all right? So if you have a bone problems, if you have a tumors, if you have some kind of the frozen shoulders, there's a blood, you can see pains immediately. So therefore this too. But no matter what, and the chi and the blood cannot be separated. They are always together, visible, invisible. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, do you have some advice for women who can transfer off of breastfeeding onto a normal period? Oh, uh, that is a pretty high level practice. It's a high level, but generally speaking, the body knows how to do. Each woman, their body built in this wisdom. If you want to use the mind and do the practice, unless a specific training is difficult, it's difficult from training level to get. It's easy from the natural level to get because this system is built in. What advice would you have for women who never gave birth and women who are postmenopausal? Create a life. We just say, I know. I, you know, after first class, I feel, oh no, I open the wound, you know, I suppose try to say that the best about our country, I don't want to defend anyone, right? So you have to understand what we say, they are no accidents. Everything happened for a reason. So therefore, if you in this life, Right, you are chosen as the woman. That's not accident. But also, you are chosen not gonna to give it the life for the children, the born. So that means you are chosen your life. Go down for different path, right? And then all the gift, all the gift you promised to the universe, you promised to the life. You don't know that you better find a way to use, right? You better use this one. Because of that gift, you cannot roll over to the next life. And you cannot transform, donate it to someone else. And you must use it in your life. And then find the area. Find the area you can devote your spirit, your heart. Through the love, through the area, through the some, some area, create the, the life. Right, create a life, create something beauty or create the love. Whatever what you can do and must understand the area of what you do must represent of the universal life. You cannot put this gift into the area for bad stuff, right, please? Because that is the gift for you, for life, for universal life. You know, I believe everyone listen to me. You are not in the, in the other category. You want to create bad things. You are all belong to one to have a good things. Otherwise, you won't listen to this kind of talking, right? So you better thinking that way. What is the your eye can see the beauty? What is the your eyes can see the love? If you cannot see, please go back to the last class. Or go back to the first class. Listen, try listen a couple more times. You might see, you might hear something differently, right? Maybe my poor English limited your understanding. Listen one more time. Listen, listen from your heart. Have you anyone tried it this way? Just listen. And if someone should, should really try to pocket this one while you are asleep, see what kind of dream you come out. You might find something interesting. Listen from your heart. So therefore, when you create your life, create your love, into different area, still it's okay. Doesn't have to be that way. Okay. What about women of birthing age who don't menstruate? I've been told that she can't generate enough blood. Are there tips that you can offer? Can you explain what that means? Um, and is rigorous exercise something to avoid and why? Wow, that's a tough question. It's a good question because a lot of women, what I saw a lot of, you know, patients, they do these kind of things. You have to understand, right? I say, that, so that's why, I, how do I, let me go slower. You still go back to the same concept. Is it, you are woman's body. You are woman's life. You are, you are entitled to be the mother. You are entitled to do the everything what you promise and can do in this life, right? There are no accidents. If you believe in this, which is I believe, there's no accidents. So that's why in this life, you chosen to be the woman. Once you chosen to be the woman, all the, called a package deal, right? Have you heard? You buy the computer, package deal, all the software, download, 
right? It's the same thing. This life, you be the woman, all the software, all the requirement, all the necessary events you're going to meet in this life, you all download it. It's the program to program. It's all up to you when, where, how to start different program. So if something doesn't meet the requirement, you must go back to try to find out what's going on, right? It's all about how to meet the requirement, right? Disease, illness, that's a sentence, not the cause, that's the effect, right? We have to go to the cause. What is the invisible behind it? What is the something out of balance? And then the body out of balance. There's always life out of balance. So I hope this kind of talk can allow you really see something different of your life. Right? Generally speaking, you are okay. There's something else limiting you. So you better try to find this. And the most important things, be true yourself. Right? So don't listen to others. Your guts always tell the truth. Your intuition always tell the truth. So the Qigong practice, go back to it again. Why we say the Qigong, the beauty? can stimulate your consciousness. Qigong can develop your intuition. There's no exercise can good for intuition. Could you please explain what body fluids and phlegm are in healing? Body flu and the phlegm in healing? Mm. Body through and uh, frame, that's not in healing. That's a body through and the, that's just uh, two areas and the, your body, called the body materializes things. You know, these things are still not the cause. The, these things is effect. When the body of the balance, these two areas will show different. So that's why one of the, one of the, you know, what's called the, the autoimmune disease is a body fruit deficiency. So that's why you will dry mouth, dry nose, everything's dry because the body fruit be burn up, right? The mucus is in the other angle. The mucus body will produce the mucus. If you digest the system of the balance, if you're lung of the balance, and the body will produce the mucus. You know, anything is water can turn to the different framework. That's a much deeper. Right, these kind of things I will put the next session, which is called the common conditions and the many common illness and the disease. All of these sentences I will discuss that and let the people let you guys see from different angles. Right? So the first class is a fundamental concept, please. It's very important. You know, now you already go to too detail, but still go back to the concept. You have to understand concept, right? Our goal, which is my goal, is to provide you guys have a different framework. Different frameworks is to look, what do you have? What is the gift? What do you have? It's all about the good. Start with the good, then it's easy to deal the bad, right? Instead of look in the bad, look at what you have. You have a tremendous the gift and so many things and being the guy they dream and try to get you know maybe they only can get the next life unfortunately but in this life what you have is the gift it's how to use your gift and make your life more beautiful that's the purpose i hope all of this information can help you do more homework and the next session is more exciting. It's gonna to can go down to the one of the you need the body energy now. Your liver is the you need the chi. Is allow you connect to the universe. Now we are aimed for practice, practice and practice. Right? We say practice qigong. So you guys, please stand up and the stand and the shoulder wide. Right, hold it that your hand, pull it back, and make sure thumb cross each other, close your eyes for one minute. There.
All right. Please do the homework. Do the homework and practice again. All right. I see you next class.